Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we are headed into the city, and I have a recipe at the end of the video, and so be sure to stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this video. If you would like a detailed tour of downtown Chicago, be sure to click somewhere here on the top for a detailed video that I had posted earlier on. So for those who may not know, Chicago is surrounded by a Lake Michigan and the serenity that it brings it's absolutely beautiful um i do hope if you haven't already visited you do get a chance to visit um one of the things i love about the city are the skyscrapers they are breathtaking One of the famous traditions that um, the city has is they dye the water green when it is St. Patrick's Day. And so here you will see the lake um, has been dyed green and it's just, it's just a fun day. Um, still a pandemic, but I can absolutely understand why people would want to step out and just breathe. It's been a long year. So yeah, that's the lake right there. I hope you enjoyed the drive. Let's get into the kitchen and whip up something, okay? There are days that you just want to put together something really quick and easy. And this was one of those days I found some vegetables and some sausage in my refrigerator and I wanted to use them up before they went bad. So I made myself some easy sausage pasta and right here I am going to brown my sausage just a little bit before I saute my vegetables. On the fire I also have the water going um, for my pasta. Comment below, let me know what are some of the quick um, recipes that you tend to cook when you just have a little bit of time um, during the day to whip up something. Let me know.
Next, I'm going to add in my onions, a little bit of ginger to um, give it some more flavor. And then I'm going to add the rest of my veggies and saute it for a little bit. So you will notice that I did not really start with a tomato base. And so I have chopped up some tomatoes, added it to my veggies, and I added this a little later because tomatoes cook a lot faster. But my goal with this is to really create a little bit of sauce for my pasta. I'm adding a little bit of salt and I also added in some seasoned salt after I tasted it. The pasta is ready. I'm going to go ahead and drain it. And as you can see, I have created a little bit of tomato sauce that can, you know, bring some more flavor to my pasta. And that was just my goal. I didn't want it a thick tomato based sauce, just something light. If you want a light recipe, be sure to try this out. It tasted amazing. It, it was really good. <laughs> To finish it up, I added in a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This is to your taste. I love, love, love cheese, and so I went all out. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are staying safe. Comment below. Let me know if this is a recipe you would possibly try. If you've been watching my videos, and you haven't subscribed be sure to hit the subscription button to support and hey 
be kind and listen. Listen to one another because it makes a whole lot of difference. You be safe out there.